Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and we are on another blender tutorial on a low poly mountain. So, as you can see, I changed my name a little bit, but it's probably going to be OP Models for a bit. My last names was Squid Dev, Orange Dev, and all that. Cardboard Dev, all that. But now I think I'm finally going to keep this name, but let's not talk too much and get straight into the video. So, first of all, you're going to want to be in Blender, of course. Go to Add, Mesh, and then Cylinder. And then just go down here, do not move it or anything, and then press vertices and then type, I'd say 8 is pretty good for that. And I would like to probably size it to about right there, just to give it more of that thickness and height. And then what we're going to do is, I would personally just grab another, another cylinder, and then press S, Z, and then I'll scale it on the Z axis, and then I'd say about there, and then just do that one more time probably, just to check it out, see, yeah, that really should be good enough, that's actually perfect. So, what we're going to do, just to make it a bit more unique, I'm going to grab, well, press Control R, then add a loop cut right there, and then size it out a little bit. So that doesn't give it just a complete round fit to it. And if you do want, you can shade smooth this, go into whatever this is, object data properties, and normal, and then auto smooth, and then I'll auto smooth that. You can do the same with that one, just to make it a bit more nice. And what I, uh, yeah, I'd say the top's probably good for now. And then I'd go on my vertices select, and then most likely bring this down like that. Yeah, that's perfect right there. And then just keep on going around the little thing. You can add, like, other vertices using Control r but I'd personally rather not. I don't know really what's happening right there, but I guess we cannot do that. But that is always alright. You can bring that one down a little bit. Same with that one. Oops, I'm probably going to bring that one back up and then put it down more. And then right there is probably a good top of your mountain. So, now we could, if you guys want it, just to make the base of the mountain a bit more detailed. I'm just going to see how a uh, loop cut would look on it. Oh yeah, 100% better, right there. At, so add a loop cut in the middle. Now I'm just going to see how it looks beveled. Control B. Uh, nah, I'd rather go with the plain one like that. So. I think that's all there is to a making a mountain, to be honest. And then you can either color this in Blender or Studio, but you're just going to have to get like a color palette or something. But go on RoadBuilder's Discord server to get a color palette. It's very, very good. I use it all the time. So, yeah, just use that to color it in whatever. If you are using it for Roblox Studio, of course. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what else you guys want to see. And yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.